Damn it, boy. I'm making a bands to still support this TV. How about you do me a quick little favor and hit that like button for me? I appreciate all my supporters out there. This guy right here name is Memphis Ash. He is going out to Lil Yachty because he said Lil Yachty stole his song. He has the song Pikachu. In the song he made references to yellow females and yellow diamonds. Also in the song he say Pickaboo a lot. And we all know Lil Yachty got the Pickaboo track. And he's saying that Lil Yachty stole the hook, the verses. So he sent his lawyers to send what what people always send. Cease and desist. And gave Lil Yachty 10 days to pay him royalties for the song. Now Lil Yachty manager, Coach K, responded to this by saying, basically they not buying it. The songs don't sound alike. They're not the same song. They not paying nothing. Now the 10 days pass. But now Memphis Ash Lawyers is trying to get the song removed from iTunes, Spotify, all the stream streaming services. They trying to get the song taken down. But they basically saying that Lil Yachty and the team stole his track. Now I will say this right. I heard the song. The song sound good. It's very smooth. It's cool. I thought it was gonna be wet, but it really it wasn't wet. I have to admit, it wasn't what. He sounded pretty good. And I heard Lil Yachty's version, of course. To me, it's some similarities, but it doesn't sound like a copy. But that's only one list. I only listened to it one time. But this guy put this right here on IG, and he said, Just in case it's not being broadcast, doesn't mean moves aren't being made. I always remember that one day you're going to check my ground and get hit with a wave of success you wasn't ready for. Now, but back to the story. I heard his track. Only, only similarities I heard was him yelling pickaboo. La Yada yelling pickaboo. His version was a little slower, a little smoother. La Yada version a little more tempo. They both talk about pickaboo. They both talk about females. That's the only similarities I heard in this track. Now, I only listened to it one time, so they might have said some of the same words. I don't know. But what I will say on top of that is this right here. In the age of hip-hop, where, sim where, where originality is slim to none, then you have somebody who come out with an with a image or a sound, everybody bite off of it. So, there's so many people out there trying to sound like Migos. I remember when a lot of people were trying to sound like Jeezy. The point I'm trying to make is this right here. you bound to have people who song have similarities in it. It just happens. Unless somebody intentionally comes out there and try to sound like you, intentionally comes out there and try to dress like you and be you. So what I'm saying is, I don't think Lil Yachty tried to steal his song. I don't think Lil Yachty stole his song. And I don't think he's trolling Yachty to try to get money out of Yachty. He probably genuinely feels like Lil Yachty stole his track. Lil Yachty name I always stuck in my tongue, but so he trying to get the song taken down right now. He probably genuinely feels this way. That's why he got his lawyers on it. And like I said, they not paying him nothing. They not giving him nothing. I stay close to this to see what develops. But right now, dude saying he want his check. And look, y'all say they ain't cutting no check. But comment on this and I'll really respond to them, a.k.a. bands no matter.